about my appearance at this time. I am cozy and comfortable and it's cold outside so I have been in a glorious habit of reading at home which has been so lovely and in these December diaries I've been showing you the books that I've been reading so I thought I'd just continue. Finish Exciting Times by Nisha Doolin and very quick read, finish it in like an evening not to brag but I think this would be a perfect book if you're bringing on holiday and just like want to read something by the beach. It's very funny, very witty. Did I like enjoy it on a haul? I'm kind of undecided, like at some points I did find the narrator pretty annoying, though I do think that's like part of it. There was a little bit at the start which I felt called out whenever I read this. I'd been sad in Dublin, decided it was Dublin's fault, and thought Hong Kong would help. That's just me to a T, like, I've been sad in London, decided it was London's fault, and thought Paris would help. I'm just gonna think of that every time I feel like a place doesn't suit me. Maybe it's actually my own fault. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's not the place. I am reading A Bigger Message, Conversations with David Hockney by Martin Guyford and have been loving. I've only read the first two chapters but it starts off with him in East Yorkshire where he's also doing digital and physical art so he's doing iPad and iPhone drawings as well as like traditional mediums of paint which I think is really fascinating seeing an artist be able to straddle both the physical and digital world and have a similar appreciation because I definitely don't appreciate digital art as much as I would appreciate someone who did a painting even though it's still all art and like art subjective but it's been so wonderful so far so if you're into art I would highly recommend I especially love that it's in the form of a conversation you really get to read Hockney's actual words and his thoughts and there's nothing more important than hearing that from an artist rather than just reading like critical reviews or what other people think of a painting. Look how beautiful this one is. I love the colours in that. This is my least favorite weather. It's so gloomy and rainy, um, but it's not even like raining a lot. It's just like drizzling. Definitely an indoor day. I just need to 
just left some there. If it, if you have more, then just put it in there, don't you? It's already dark outside and I feel like the day hasn't even begun. Also, new favorite flavor of the glossybalm.com is the Swiss Miss. I bought this in London because it was sold out online, so if you can get your hands on it, buy it. It feels like you're putting the towel on your lips. And it's got a kind of nice brown tint. Anyway, this afternoon I'm going to paint my parents' little Christmas present. This year I have decided to get them flights to Indonesia and somewhere else in Asia. Um, my dad hasn't been back to Indonesia in like over 10 years, so I thought this would be a very useful present. They love traveling and they haven't actually traveled that much around Asia, so I thought a flight to Indo and then somewhere of their choosing would be a lovely present, but they can't really open that on Christmas day. So I'm going to paint like a little voucher, a plane ticket, I don't know. We're gonna look on Pinterest for some inspiration. I just wanna say a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel this year. It actually means so much and they're such a wonderful company. Squarespace is the best place to go to create and host your online platform. They have so many beautiful, aesthetically pleasing templates, which will make you look like you spent hours, days creating a site whenever you can do it in just minutes. I have no skills whatsoever in I don't know, coding, web design. Squarespace just make it so simple and you can focus all your time into the things that you actually want to put into your site. So whether you want to create an online portfolio for your art or photography, start an online business, start selling, or even just create a personal blog, Squarespace have all the tools to help you along the way. They're really there to help support creators. You can make these member-only areas where you can monetize your content and create mailing lists to help engage with your community and it also automatically connects all your social medias into one place which is so amazing check out squarespace.com for a free trial and you can start playing around with your site and whenever you feel like you've got it right and you're ready to launch you can use my link squarespace.com slash moya get 10 percent off your first purchase of a domain or a site so as always thank you so much to them for sponsoring and let's get some hinting done Dublin. A little Dublin Diaries Christmas special. It feels so nice to be back. I came down to stay with my friend Lois who just moved into her new apartment which is so exciting and I'm so jealous that like it makes me want to have my own space again. Came down yesterday. I actually didn't really vlog that much. It was a bit rainy and we were just catching up a bunch. She took me to her little studio space because she's studying art masters. We went for pints and we went for dinner at this place called Note, which I've never been before. I think it opened last year. Super tasty. It was definitely a little bit overpriced, but I just feel like Dublin's so expensive. Like, I forget how much eating out is here. Our waitress was definitely judging us for, like, not ordering starters and just, like, having mains. But overall, great vibe. Today we're doing a little solo day, a little solo Dublin diaries. I don't really have any plan. just want to wander. I have my book. might go to the park go to a cafe, see some places that I used to frequent back in my university days. I feel so old saying that now, but let's go, let's go. <laughs> I feel like I look like an American, I don't know, farmer. Hello, OOTD for you guys. Jacket vintage. I got it in a thrift store in Paris and 
best purchase ever. It's so warm. It's like fully fur lined. So I'm actually, I'm not, I'm really not dressed for the weather. Skirt Aritzia loafers from Jodak, Paris. This low sweater vest is from a Korean brand called Amomento. Mittens, lowest knit of these. I'm sealing them. Hot, sporty, and rich. And I got this bike and it's the best bike ever. I'm actually obsessed with it. It's from Poppy Listman. I can fit so much in this. I am gonna bring my book. My camcorder fits in it. Like, I can bring maybe my journal too. Oh, just a bite. Bringing this croissant. This is my favorite place to come to in final year. Such a beautiful day. Look. Wow. So gorgeous. Our favorite thing about Ivy Gardens is it's always so quiet. Like, there's actually no one here. It's so nice. Feeling nostalgic. I'm always feeling nostalgic though, so. Guys, um, I'm in Marion Square, but what is that? <laughs> is that meant to be a Christmas tree? I'm so cold. <laughs> These mittens are keeping me warm with my fingers. I'm freezing, I'm freezing. I'm in a skirt, that was my bad. Pick up Lois from work. Working woman. Working woman. She's a gallery girl. Oh, turn over there. That's even better. Oh, wow. We got loads of lights there. Hello. 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 Really, that's not Chinese food. This, this is Irish food. <laughs> I'm so cold. We're going up to nine. We're going to a friend's gig. And the ammo. And the ammo. Are you gonna find it? You don't have lime steak? No, bro. No, I think that was enough. I just chucked some in my bag and also like this is what Lois has. The <laughs> new apartment box. Oh, it's kind of sad. Wearing Lois's top. So cute. Which I, I want. 
Play one well. Gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous.